History is alive in Chicago from the Burnham plan that helped create its skyline to the architecture and art that colors the city, like the signature style of Chicago's bean or the storytelling structure with Indian roots in Lincoln Park. The architect of this 40-foot statue may not be well known to visitors, but the work was singled out by a famous Chicagoan in 1925. James Kraft, the founder of Kraft Foods, on an exhibition in Canada, was intrigued by an Indian tribe's method of carving narratives about legends and lineages all from a single redwood tree. The Alert Bay on North Vancouver Island, British Columbia, is home to the Kwakiutl Indian tribe, which includes the Ninkish who created the pole carving. At the very top, the carver pays homage to the mythological thunderbird, wings powerfully outstretched. The bird's talons grip a whale, the main symbol of the pole. A man rides atop, representing perhaps a clan of fishermen. At the base, a monster resides, the colors and crests all contributing to a rich tribal story. Mr. Kraft arranged to ship the Quamarola's totem pole to Chicago by rail, and in June of 1925, the huge carving was installed as his gift to the Chicago Park District and dedicated to Chicago school children a reminder, perhaps, of Chicago's history with Native Americans. Located just north of Belmont Harbor, west of the golf course, and south of the tennis courts, Quamarola's proudly stands, a piece of history flanked by high-rises and Chicago's lakeshore. But pollution and weather extremes damaged the original, and when the Field Museum of Natural History requested the totem pole for a permanent exhibit, the carving was recognized as a significant historical artifact, and the Chicago Park District agreed to return the pole to Canada, on condition that a duplicate be created in its place, one treated to survive Chicago's weather. And so in mid-1986, in an aura of drum music and dancing, Quamarola's returned to Chicago, an exact duplicate carved by Tony Hunt, hereditary chief of the same Kwakiotl tribe that created the original, thanks again to Mr. Kraft and Kraft Foods.